So uh, before we start, a couple of people have asked me about uh, the you know, pedals I use and what gear I use. So uh, I'll, I'll put a little uh, video on how to do it. And pretty much I'm just using uh, this Maxon Overdrive, um, which is a tube screamer, uh, with you know the drive quite low down and the volume quite high up, and you know tones about halfway. And I've got a um, Electro Harmonic Soul Food with very, pretty similar EQ really. I've got the drive down. Volume is about halfway on that one, and the trebles in the middle. And the amp I'm using is a Fender Tweed uh, Blues Junior. And I've got the EQs; they're all in the middle. And the, the, although this says volume, this is to me sounds is more the gain. So I've got this a little bit about a third of the way up, and I've got the volume turned quite low down because I'm at home. So uh, yeah, there's, that's the amp, that's the uh, the amp and the pedals I'm using. Hope that's okay. So uh, the song's going to be a, a standard E tuning. We'll start off this little riff. <laughs> And it's quite a simple riff really, all, all we're doing is we're doing this. So that's going to be a hammer on from the 5th to the 7th on the D, pull off, and then end up on the A string 7th fret. So, and if you want you can, you can get an open A string whilst you're playing all that, so it's up to you whether you want to play it or not. And then we'll go do this. So what we're doing there is we're going to bend down, ever so slightly, kind of quarter tone on the 5th of the G and then get 2 on the 7th of the D, so that entire thing slowly goes then repeat it it just repeats that until it gets this bit so we're going to do that Hammer on from the 5th to the 7th of the D, pull off, end up on the 5th of the A again, and then we're going to go. So what we're doing there is we're getting a double stop on the B and the G string at the 7th, and then we're going to do a double stop on the 5th of the B and the G. So, then we're going to go, oh what on that second one by the way, get a little bend down. And then we're going to go. So, all we're doing is going from 7 to the 5th to the 7th on the D string. So, that entire little bit goes like this. So once we've played that little intro, we're going to play uh, these chords. We're, we're actually going to turn the volume down a little tiny little bit so it doesn't sound so harsh. So what, what we're going to be playing is we're going to play an A sus 2, which is basically open A, second on the D, second on the G, open B, open E, so to a D to a G, back to A sus 2 again, then repeat it again, A sus 2, then to the, uh, to the D, and then we're going to play this. So once we play those chords, we're going to play these, this little riff. So what we're doing there is we're going to play um, an open A and 7th of the D, so twice. Then we're going to go. So that's going to be hammer on from the fifth to the seventh, pull off back to the fifth of the D, end up on the seventh of the A. So so far we've got this. Then we're going to go. So what that, what we're doing there is we're going to get the fifth of the G and bend it down as a size, give it kind of quarter tone, quarter bend, and then get two on the seventh of the D. So so far we've got this. Then we're going to repeat that uh, three times, so, so we've got this so far. And then on the, lap, on the fourth time we're going to go... So what we're doing there is basically we're going to hammer on from the fifth to the seventh, pull off onto the fifth again on the D, and upon that uh, seventh of the A, 
And then we're going to end up on the fifth of the G. And give it some vibrato. So that little part with the chords goes like this. Then we're back into the chords again. Back into that little riff again. And then once we do that, we're going to play these chords. So all that is basically is a, a D9, which is, if you don't know what D9 is, uh, fifth of the A, fourth of the D, and then that's going to bar the fifth of the uh, G, B, and E. So we're going to I'm going to play uh, an A7, and if basically that's just a normal A A chord, but without that little finger there. So back to the D9. Then we're going to play this. And it does sound like it's going out of tune when you hit that low E. It kind of goes out of tune and comes back in tune because of you know, just the length of the string. And it does actually do that in the record as well, so don't worry too much if you think that sounds out of tune. It, it is, but it, you know, it kind of writes itself. So what we're doing there is we're basically going open low E. Then we'll go. So what we're doing there is we're going to hit the second of the D, open D end up on the second of the A, so and just repeat that and in uh, the version I've got, I've got uh, Rory Gallagher live in Europe he, he plays that twice there and he goes so pretty much he plays the, this part down here twice and he keeps that open low E playing, but does this what we're doing there is we're going to play the ninth of the G string to the seventh to the ninth of the of the D. So and it does that twice. Then he plays this little part. So keeping that low E again, and then we're going to play the ninth of the B to the seventh of the B to the ninth of the G. So. So if you want to play with the Rory Gallagher Live in Europe version, you can do that. So that little part goes like this. And on the on the, the Live at Europe version, you goes. So what we're doing there is just hammering on from the um, seventh of the ninth of the B, moving it up by one fret. Then he's back into this. So anyway, that's pretty much the riff you'll need for uh, Laundromat by Rory Gallagher, and um, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.